Welcome back Digital Watch fans to Vintage Digital Watches and to another video and in today's video I'll try to answer a question that I get pretty frequent and that is what type of batteries do you use in your solar watches and uh, the answer is I like to use I don't like to use regular batteries because that would mean I would recharge uh, regular batteries which is a no-no and yes I know you can disconnect the leads from the solar panel but that's a whole story in itself uh, what I like to use is uh, having my watches real capacitor cells and that's what I'll show you in today's video a few watches the types of capacitor cell I use what brands and how I select them so these are just a few from my collection I have a couple of Orients um, I have this early citizen one um, yeah I have this uh, Seiko which is a557 if I'm not mistaken and I do have the good old Casio DV2000 uh, with a solar panel. Oh yeah, check this out. This is a super, super small Anadigi uh, Citizen, which I bought from my daughter uh, for size comparison. Just look at that. So yeah, what do you think? It, it has one of those thick, thick glasses setting from the crown. If anybody knows how you can uh, resize one of these stretchy type bracelets and don't give me a smart ass answer that that that's why they are stretchy so you don't you don't have to adjust them i'm curious if you know leave it in the comments below that's not part of the video uh let's go over to the workbench so here we are with three contenders and these are the best examples because they all have different dimensions for the capacitor cells and now uh the original cells uh, aren't made anymore um, and uh, they also have a different voltage rating but uh, most of today's cells are rated at 1.5 volts there are others at 2 point something but that difference in voltage uh, makes nearly no difference in how the watch performs uh, and uh, its effects on the watch there is one thing that will not work and that is the micro light and you will see if I turn on the micro light, uh, the display will dim. As you can see on this one as well, actually on this one, it will just almost go out completely. So there you go, you won't be able to use the micro light anymore. So what type of capacitor cells can you use in watches today? Panasonic makes uh, a few models of capacitor cells and from my experience I've always used them and I've got, gotten great results in uh, how they last in the watch and uh, in the quality uh, meaning that I didn't have one that uh, malfunctioned thus far. So what we have to do is open up this watch and I'll show you what type of capacitor cell this takes. This one and then for this one uh, I haven't even uh, put it in yet because I only ordered it yesterday, it arrived today, so you'll have the occasion to see uh, my process of how I size it up uh, to make sure I get a proper fit. Okay, so this is for the Casio DV2000 and this type of uh, capacitor cell uh, and I'm not going to take that returner off because it's a pain to put back in. Uh, it's an M Panasonic MT920 and it's rated at 1.5 volts. Uh, I'm sure the original capacitor cell was rated a bit higher, which is why the micro light, as you saw, dims uh, when you try to operate it. Performance wise, this watch, uh, you can leave it in a drawer for a couple of days and uh, you will see the LCD start fading away, but it will not lose time and you can keep it in a drawer up to a week without it losing time. It will have a faded display uh, after that but uh, after half an hour in the sunlight it will be as crisp as you see it here let's move on to the Orient now for the Orient I'm using a Panasonic MT621 but in fact it's a little bit too small so I had to cut some uh, plastic uh, sheets and then I wrapped them around uh, to sit around the battery and make sure it doesn't jiggle in there uh, and lose contact. You put the retainer back on. Mind you, the retainer is, judging by its shape, because it's a little bit raised, uh, is expecting a taller battery. So what I did was take a piece of tin foil. You can use any metal 
just lay it there on top. Make sure it has a shape so it doesn't move around and touch any other electronics. And then just throw this on top uh, and it will work straight away. And now for the watch in the middle, uh, this Secura. For this one I ordered another Panasonic and that is the CTL1025. Oh, sorry. Uh, this is rated at a higher voltage and I will show you now how I chose the battery. Basically I'm going to open up the watch. But I will show you how I chose that type of capacitor cell. So what I did is just simply took a caliper and I measured the inside diameter. So there you go, it's 11 millimeters. And then uh, I measured the height and uh, I believe the height was, it was 3.55 millimeters. So I needed a battery that was around 11 millimeters uh, in diameter and 3.5 max. And uh, in case you're wondering why batteries are coded the way they are, well, actually it's their dimensions. So if you have, for example, the MT920-9 means it's nine millimeters in across and the 20 at the end means that it's 2.0 millimeters thick. So in this case, uh, I knew from the get-go that this Panasonic CTL1025 will have 10 millimeters in diameter and 2.5 millimeters in height. Okay, so let's fit it in. There you go, I'd say that fits pretty snug and uh, there is a little bit of play in it, but what I can do is add a little bit of tin foil to the top which makes sure I have contact between the back and the retainer. Now you're probably going to say that this is uh, something that looks like a bodged up job, but if it works, it works. Okay, and that is pretty well friction fit in there. I am going to turn it over and see if it works. Uh, usually these batteries come pre-charged, but we'll just have to see and there you go. So indeed it does work. Probably will need a reset and we'll try also the micro light. Yeah, but first let's fit in the back. Okay, that's the last of the, yeah, and it does work. Let's see the micro light. So I'll just turn off the light. Yes, <laughs> look at that. Now this does happen for the micro light to work that good because as I did say, the CTL 1025 is rated at, I, I think 2.3 volts. So it easily operates this uh, micro light. And now I know this video will get a lot of comments. Can I use this? Bat what battery should I use in this watch? What battery should I, do should I use in this one? And in my opinion, if it's rated at 1.5 volt, it will work in any watch. But it really depends uh, also on the type of watch that you're fitting it into. Uh, from my experience, I did see that this one uh, draws a little more power than this one. Um, and most of the Seiko's uh, they will draw more power than a Casio. I don't know why that is, but from my experience, that's how, uh, that's what I saw. Uh, and you can actually tell if you're going to fit uh, MT920, which is a perfect fit size-wise for this A557. Um, it will start to blink, uh, showing you that it is low battery. So, and another thing to mention is that uh, some capacitor cells, you can order them with pre-soldered uh, tabs on them uh, or however you want to call them. Well, this is what I mean. If you think your watch needs to have those soldered on the battery, 
buy one with them pre-soldered do not attempt to buy one without them and uh, then try to solder them on the battery because what I did uh, I bought a battery for this watch it was actually the MT621 and uh, because I thought it wouldn't stay in place I decided to solder it to the uh, retainers of the watch's battery and uh, in the process of soldering uh, if you heat a capacitor cell then you drastically re uh, reduce its battery life. I ended up uh, using it for only a week and then the battery completely died just because I heated it up. So if you think your watch needs those tabs, buy the battery with the tabs pre-installed. Uh, they are easy to remove if you decide to remove them later but I don't advise you soldering them back on the battery. So thanks for watching the video uh, and I hope you find it useful, uh, especially now that you can bring your watches closer to their authentic meaning. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it and do subscribe as I try to release as often as I can digital watch related videos. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.